Hello everyone, this is Vandita Sarda from Actuators Educational Institute and in this video I am going to talk about the different entrance exams which you require to get into your dream college in India. So let's begin with the most common one which is Common University Entrance Test. Now the COET which is conducted by NTA across the country consists of mainly three sections. The registrations for the exam are closing on 31st of March and the exam will be conducted on different days between 15th to 30th of May. So coming to the exam structure, the COET is a completely MCQ based exam. This year it will be conducted in a hybrid mode which means while some papers will be online, some will be pen and paper based. So the first section is the language section. Now in the language section, you can choose any languages out of the 13 languages offered by them. It is recommended that you go for one language because as a whole, you can appear for a maximum of six exams in the CUET series. So if you take up more than one language, you would be losing out on options in the domain area. The language section will have 50 MCQs out of which you will have to attempt 40 you will be getting 45 minutes to complete that section. Throughout the exam, for every correct answer, you get a plus 5 and for every wrong answer, you have negative marking of minus 1. The next section is the domain section. Now in the domain section, there is actually nothing new that you have to do. Whatever was the syllabus for class 12 exams, your board exams, the same ditto syllabus exists for the CUET as well which means there is no additional prep required by you. Out uh, for the domain subjects, you can choose up to four domain subjects or more if you think that your dream colleges do not require the general test. So the domain subjects will have different options like maths, accounts, commerce, business studies, economics for the commerce field. Apart from that, if you want to uh, do your graduation in different subjects or in different uh, specializations, then you can make your choice accordingly. The third section is the general test. The general test will basically test your logical reasoning, your general quantitative aptitude, which means basic mathematics like APGP, sequence and series, probability, permutation, combination, etc. They will also be testing your general awareness and analytical skills. So the domain subjects will either be for 45 minutes or 60 minutes depending on the subject you choose. And there will be 50 questions out of which 40 have to be attempted. For the GT, there will be 60 out of which you have to attempt 50 questions in 60 minutes. Now all of these sections are completely dependent on which colleges are you targeting. Most of the university universities in the country, for example, Delhi University, BHU, uh, Amity University, etc. All of them require a CUET score as part of the entrance and admission process. So for your dream college, you will have to go to their website and check their requirements as to which of these sections they require as well as what is their cutoff. Usually for the best colleges in this field, the cutoff is around 760 out of 800 or more. So that is why it is not a very tough exam since you can see that cutoffs are very high, which means that you can easily do well in this exam if you prepare well and if you have your concepts clear in your mind. Coming to the next section is the IPMAT examination. Few years back, IIM along with an, uh, other few universities, other few colleges began a five-year integrated management course which was basically your bachelor's and your master's together. So in these five years you would basically be doing your graduation as well as your post-graduation. Colleges that offer this integrated management course are different IIMs. We have Narsi Munji, we have Nirma College and a few more. So now the benefits of this course you can always look up online but the main benefit would be if you get through an IIM right after your class 12 that would be a great achievement. So now for the IPMAT, the IPMAT registrations have closed on 26th of March 
and the exams will be conducted in the months of May or June. There are three sections. Basically, there are two kinds of questions that come. There is MCQs also and there is short answers also. The two things which they test is your quantitative ability and your verbal ability or quantitative aptitude and verbal ability. The quantitative aptitude, which is basically mathematics and statistics, begins absolutely from the scratch and also includes questions on logical reasoning and analytics. There are two ways in which they test your QA. The first one is MCQ based, where you have 30 questions uh, and you get 40 minutes. Short answer form QA questions are 15 in number and you get 40 minutes to solve them as well. Lastly, for the verbal ability section, where they basically test comprehension or test on the basis of comprehension or comprehension passages, they test your vocabulary, grammar, etc. That is 45 questions in 40 minutes and again MCQ based. So now in this exam too, there is negative marking as well as plus 5 for a correct answer. For some questions, the marks may differ. Next up, we have the SET, which is for symbiosis, the different campuses under the symbiosis umbrella. The registrations are closing on 12th of April and the exam, you get two attempts, 5th May and 11th of May. Now, 5th May and 11th of May, two attempts means every student can sit for both these attempts and the attempt in which you get the highest score would be the one that is counted in your application. This one has four sections, totaling of 60 marks. You get 120 minutes to finish your examination. They test your English or verbal ability skills, quantitative aptitude, general awareness and logical reasoning. So again, there is nothing new that you have to do in these. But yes, you do have to make sure that you excel in all of these sections to do well in the exam. Next, we have NPAT, which is for Narsi Munji and different campuses offered under their umbrella. The registrations are open till 20th of May and the examination are conducted in different cohorts beginning from 1st January up to 25th of May. This exam, again, is a very general test. There is no specific syllabus as such. Three sections, quantitative aptitude, logical reasoning and verbal ability. 40 marks, 40, ma uh, 40 questions, 40 questions and 40 questions. A total of 100 minutes to complete all the 120 questions. So these are the main exams. Apart from this, we do have another, uh, a few more exams for which you can always check out websites of your desired colleges. If you all have any doubts, you all can always contact us at any of our handles. Thank you so much.